All praises, all praises. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The brother Ram and, and the elder brought it out mighty in the spirit, and we're going to keep rolling on with it, all right? So let me get uh, Amos 7 and 15. Uh, let me get uh, uh, Proverbs 2 and 1, all right? So if you don't know who we are here for, we are here for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to let you know that you are the real Jews and Israelites according to the Bible, right? So a lot of people, they don't know what we are here for in these last days, right? A lot of people, they, they don't appreciate the service of the Lord, right? They say, what are you doing for our community, right? Why you ain't out there passing out canned goods? Why you ain't out there passing out turkeys, right? Why you ain't out there giving people coats? And we ain't out here for that, man. Right. We ain't out here for that for that vain glory. Right. We out here to give our people the true words of the Lord. That's we right. don't give a damn about the community. Right. We only out here for a certain group of people. That's, That's right. 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 Read what you got. Seven fifteen. The book of Amos, chapter seven, verse fifteen. Read up. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. Right. And the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people. Go do what? Prophesy to my people, Israel. Who? Israel. Who? Israel. Right, so Israel, are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? We only out here to prophesy to our people, right? Matter of fact, let me get uh, Isaiah, let me get Isaiah 55 and 1, right? So we only out here for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We don't give a damn about these heathens. Right. We don't give a damn about the so-called white man that come out here and lie every single damn week. Right. You got these pathetic, worthless, damn dope heads trying to teach the Bible. Right. Right? You got these you you got these damn dope heads out here trying to teach us about the Bible. Right. Right? The Lord gonna put all these wicked bastards to shame in these last days. That's right. Right? Read that again. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. Right. And the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people, Israel. Unto who? My people, Israel. Right, so we only out here for our people, Israel, right? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Now is the time to change your life. We are here looking for that one brother, that one sister that want to repent and come back to the Lord, right? Read what you got in Isaiah 55 and 1. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 1. It says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, everyone that what? Everyone that thirsteth, right? come ye, to the waters. Do what? Come ye to the waters. And the waters is this word. The law, statutes, and commandments that's in this Bible. Right? Read on. Buy and eat. Do what? Buy and eat. Right? So the Lord said, buy and eat. Right? So we out here trying to give our people spiritual food. Right? Because coming out here and giving our people uh, uh, work, uh, vainly food, that's not going to do nothing for you. Right? Matter of fact, give me that in uh in uh Matthew 4 and 4, right? Right? You got people coming out saying, well, you Hebrew Israelites, all you do is yell at the white man. All you guys do is call the white man the devil. What are you guys doing for my our community? Right? Come on, turn that on. Right? They say, what are you guys doing for our community? Right? Right? Why you ain't out there passing out turkeys on Thanksgiving? Right? Hey, we don't give a damn about that, man. Right. We came out here to do what your punk ass pastor ain't got the heart to do, man. Right. right. And y'all beautiful sisters got a minute for the words of God. Do y'all love God? Uh, well, y'all gotta repent and put on modest apparel, right. right? See, they just think they wanna, they just wanna be hot girls and city girls, right? right? right. 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 They don't wanna come and repent and come back to the Lord. Hey, but you got a minute for the words of God, or you just wanna walk hand in hand with your uh, your enemies, right? right? That don't make no damn sense, right? And this is why the service to the Lord got to come out here on these streets, right? Because right? right. you got cool-ass Negroes holding hand-in-hand -hand with their enemy, right. Right. right? You got these damn hood rats out here dressing like damn sluts, right? right? Thinking they uh, they bad bitches and, and city girls, right? right? So we got to come out here and clean up our people. Right. We got to come out here and raise up our people in these last days, right? right. right? Read that again. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1. Yeah. Hell! Everyone that thirsteth, right. come ye to the waters. Right. And he that have no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and with and milk 
Without money. Without what? Without money. Without what? Without money. So this word is free. You can come get the words of the Lord without money. Right. We're not up here begging for your damn money. Right. We're not passing around the collection plate like your pastor. Right? right? You don't have to. Uh, a lot of people in the world, they, they pay a lot of money to go to these seminary schools. Right? Where they think they can learn about the Bible. They can learn about the Lord. Right? Right? But you 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 go you spend all those years in that damn school and you don't learn nothing, right? You go to you you spend all that time in that damn school just for them to tell you that God loves everybody, right, right. that Christ is coming back to save everybody, right. right? We didn't have to spend no damn money to go to no damn cemetery school, right? right? We didn't have to uh, go to uh, Joel Osteen to get this understanding. Right. We didn't have to go to T.D. Jakes to get this understanding. The Most High God put the Spirit on certain men to get this understanding to prophesy to his people in the last days. That's right. Right? Read on. Come. It says, Buy wine and milk without money right. and without price. Right. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? For what? For that which is not bread, right. and your labor for that which satisfieth not, which will do what? Which satisfieth not, and that satisfieth not, man. Right? What does it profit for us to come out here and give our people uh damn food? I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with that, right? You got uh certain camps and congregations that you know pass out canned goods and and give uh coats to uh brothers and sisters. It ain't nothing wrong with that, right? Right? But what is that gonna profit you, right? We can come out here and pass our food to our people all day. But are you going to change your life? Nope. You just going to be a damn sinner with a full stomach. And you're going to continue to do the, the same wicked abominations that you've been doing for your whole life. Right? What the hell we look like coming out here and giving people damn free food that's damn smoking crack pipes. Right? right? right. Whoring out our women. Right. Selling drugs to their own people. Right? right. right? Killing their own people. Right? right? That's not going to profit you. The only thing that's going to profit you is repenting and converting your ways. Right. right? And, and turning yourself back to these law, statutes, and commandments. Right. right? Read on. Wherefore, <clears throat> wherefore, do you spend money for that which is not bread? Right? And our people waste their damn money. Coming out here and spending money on alcohol. Spending their money just to get high. Right. Spending their money on these damn prostitutes. Right? right? All these things that's going to get you destroyed in these last days. Right? You, it, it don't cost not one cent to come up here and get the true words of the Lord, right. right? Don't you see what's going on around the earth? Don't you see all hell is breaking loose on the earth? Don't you know death and destruction is coming to these damn devils, That's right. right? Right, but don't nobody care about that. Everybody think it's fun the games, right? Everybody think it's fun the games until the same thing that's going on in Ukraine start happening in America, right? Right? Read on. And your labor. For that which satisfieth not, right. and your labor for that which satisfieth not. How long we been voting, right? How long we been going to the so-called white man colleges, right? Our people think that the next president go bring them salvation. Our people think getting a damn associate's degree go get them salvation, right. right? As a nation of people, we still at a lower state. Hey, hey, stop talking to my sisters, you damn devil, right? right? Leave my sisters alone, man, right? Got that damn, damn hey, we gotta protect our people. Right, right. The Lord said He sent us out here to be a watchman, right? right. We gotta keep these damn slithering snakes away from our people, right. right? The hell you got this damn pale faced bastard trying to talk to our sisters, man? Right. Every time you damn devils around my sisters, they end up missing, right? right? They end up with their damn organs all uh, chopped up, right. right? They body parts missing, sex trafficking, right? Read on. Harkin diligently do what? Harkin diligently. What our people gotta do? Harkin diligently. Right. So the Lord said, now it's time to harkin diligently, right? Harkin to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Cause like I said, your pastor not gonna teach you the laws and commandments. No. Nope. Right. Right. Crefo Dollar not gonna teach you the laws and commandments. No. Nope. Right. We don't. Unto me, and eat ye that which is good. And do what? And eat thee. That which is good. Right, so you got to eat that which is good, right? And we're going to go into it and explain it in a little bit, right? Read on. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Now let your uh, your flesh. And let your soul. Right, so we out here trying to feed your soul. We don't give a damn about your flesh, right? Everybody always scoffing. Well, what are you guys doing for the community, right? 
Why don't you guys feed the homeless? And we feeding the homeless. Right. We giving our people that spiritual food. Right. right? If you would repent and keep God commandments, you won't have to worry about being homeless. If you would repent and keep God commandments, you won't have to worry about uh not getting a job, right? Being being a damn drug addict, right? You won't have to rob people just to uh, to survive. You won't have to sell drugs just to survive, right? right? If you will repent and come back to these commandments, right? right? Read on. Verse three, the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-five, verse three. Incline your ear and come unto me. And do what? And come unto me. Here and your soul shall live. And your what? And your soul shall live. We trying to save souls in these last days, man. Right? Because our people are destroyed. Right? Our people want to follow after the ways of these heathens. They want to follow after the ways of their oppressors. Right? They want to come out here and celebrate Valentine's Day and Thanksgiving, Christmas. Right? And worship all the gods of the heathens, right? So we are here trying to bring our people back to that living water. Read on. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. He gonna do what? And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. So this is possessive. The Most High God made an everlasting covenant with the children of Israel. That's right. And we trying to bring our people back to that understanding, right? But our people don't want to come back to the covenant that the Lord made with our forefathers. They want to make a covenant with these heathens, right? Why are you guys always talking about the white man as the devil, right? Did you not see what he did to Hiroshima, right? Did you forget what, what them uh, 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 Peyton Gendry did, right? Did you forget what that damn devil did to George Floyd? Did you forget what Dylan Roof did to our people in South Carolina? Right. Our people so quick to forget what these damn devils did. That's right. But they, they, they want to hold a grudge against their own people, right? right? See, a so-called black man, he hold a grudge against his own brother, right. right? But when it comes to these damn devils, and then they, they, they real quick to forgive them, right? right? Well, we should love everybody. Well, why don't you start with loving yourselves? Why don't you start with loving your own nation, right? Read on. Come. It says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people a leader and commander to the people behold thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not and nations that knew not thee shall run into thee because the most high thy power and for the holy one of israel for he hath glorified thee he hath did what for he hath glorified thee and the most high god have glorified the israelites the so-called black hispanics and native americans right. that's why we do everything better than every other nation right. right that's why every other nation come to the damn uh basketball game to see our people play that's right. they come to the football game to see our people play right don't nobody want to see a whole bunch of damn eater mics no. running up a damn basketball field right. Right. right they don't want to see the damn them uh tom brady tom brady damn uh 45 years old man right, right, right. still trying to play down football man right. ain't nobody trying to watch that man right. right we are the glory of the earth man uh -huh. right this earth will be nothing without the so-called blacks and spanish and native americans right. Right? right read what you got and let me get uh let me get ezekiel 2 and 7. read that the book of matthew chapter 4 verse 4 but he answered and said it is written Man shall not live by bread alone. The Lord said what? Man shall not live by bread alone. Every time we come out here, it's a damn freak show, man. Right? I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. Right? I mean, that, that don't make no damn sense, man. Right? see the cow. Right? I mean, this is disgusting, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, you damn Jezebel. Shut up, Jezebel. <laughs> right? She came out here looking like the bride of Chucky, man. Right? These people are damn disgusting, man. Right? Read that. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. But by what? But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Right, so the Lord said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, man. Right? So we trying to bring our people back to this everlasting life, man. Right? So read what you got. And let me get on uh, side right 12 and 4. Come. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or 
whether they will forbear, whether they do what, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. So we out here to speak the words to our people, whether you hear or whether you forbear, right? Everybody not gonna get this word. Everybody not gonna get this understanding. You got two thirds of the Israelites that's gonna be destroyed in these last days, right? So the Lord said, many are called, but only few gonna be chosen, right? So we are here looking for that one brother and that one sister that want to repent and come back to these commandments, right? Our disobedience is holding us back from getting the kingdom of heaven, right? Our disobedience is holding us back from getting rulership, right? Hey, the service of the Lord, we sick of being ruled by these weak, inferior nations, man, right? right? I mean, I mean, look at these people. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man, right? She look like the damn lady on the uh, on the Wendy's logo. <laughs> hey, she look, she look, hey, she look, like, she she look just like old girl that's on the Wendy sign, man. Wendy, like right, the yeah, man. That don't make no damn sense, man. Married with children, the uh, the mama. Right, right, right. I mean, I mean, I mean, this, this is this is this is disgusting, man. Right. We sick of being at a lower state, being ruled by these weak, inferior nations, man. Right. You know. And like, and hold on, and like the brother was bringing out earlier, they call that that's that's the standard of beauty in America, right? Right, right, right. Right, <laughs> right? She probably, she probably, a uh, woman like her, she'd be on the uh, uh, Miss North Carolina beauty pageants, right? They be having her on the faces of the magazines, right? And you got the most foul, ugly, wicked, disgusting uh, woman on the face of the earth, man. Right, I mean, I, I mean, they ain't got no choice, right? They put themselves at a higher state, man. Right, but really, right. they the scum of the earth, right? right? Milk of magnesium. You know, Tom. It says, for they are most rebellious. We are the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. They are most rebellious. The Lord said we are most rebellious, man. Right? Because our people don't want to repent and come back to the Lord, man. Hey, what's going on, brother? You got a minute for the words of God? Come on, brother. You got two minutes for the words of God, brother. All right, you see that? Read that part again. You can't make this stuff up. Read that. For they are most rebellious. Hey, what's your ethnicity? You see that? Read that again. For they are most rebellious. Our people are most rebellious, man. Right? They going, they 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 walking slow with sail, going nowhere. Right. <laughs> they ain't got two minutes for the words of God, right? But I always say this, man. When all hell break loose, the first on their deathbed, and, and, and the doctors tell them they only she only got two days to live, they're gonna be like, "Oh Lord, please save her, right. right? Oh Lord, please give her another chance, right?" But the Lord not gonna hear your prayers in that day, man, because you turned your back on them, right. right? The Lord said, "Whosoever despises the word shall be destroyed, man." Right? right? Read on. That's right. Come, verse eight. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Do what? Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. So the Lord told Ezekiel, be not rebellious like that rebellious house, man. So we want the same spirit that Ezekiel had. We want the same spirit that all the prophets and the servants of the Lord had, right? And we changed our lives, man. We could be out here just like the rest of our people, getting drunk and getting high, right? right? Committing adultery and fornication. Holding hands and hand with our oppressors, right? But the Lord put it in our spirit to change our lives, right? And we had to forsake uh, smoking weed, man. We had to forsake uh, getting drunk. We had to forsake whoring out our women. We had to forsake the streets, right? Selling drugs to our own people, right? Because we see the we see the bigger picture, right? The bigger picture is having power and rulership over all the other nations that oppressed our people, right? Right, you don't have true power being a damn drug dealer, right? Right, they call them kingpins, right? right. But you ain't you, you ain't in a uh, a king state uh, state of mind when you have uh, the so called white man he can kick your damn dough and put handcuffs on you, right. right? So how you a damn kingpin, right. right? You got the damn police, they they do a raid, they kick your damn dough, and now you doing 30, 40 years of prison, right? Taking orders from these damn devils, right? right? You see, you got a precept? It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, verse 11. Yeah. But they refused to hearken. But they did what? But they refused to hearken. Right. And pulled away the shoulder. And did what? And pulled away the shoulder. Right. And our people refused to hearken and pulled away their shoulder, man. Like I said, what the hell is going on out here that's so important? Right? 
I mean, I mean, it, it ain't nothing going on out here but a bunch of madness and folly, man. Right? right? A whole bunch of damn stupidity and simplicity. Right? Right? You, it only take two minutes to come over here and get the words of God. Everybody claim they love God. Everybody and their mama claim they love God, but when you're trying to give them the words of God, they got to run away. Right? They turn into damn Usain Bolt and they get to uh, running up the damn street. Right? We don't. God, and stop their ears that they should not hear. They shall work that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. Lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh of hosts have sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from Yahweh of hosts. Therefore came a what? A great wrath from the Yahweh of hosts. Right, so it's going to come a great wrath upon all our people that don't want to repent, right? Hey, brother, you got a minute for the words of God, brother? You got a minute to learn your nationality? I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. I, I, I mean, you know who the Lord is talking about, right? I mean, look at I mean, look at this madness, man, right? Yeah, I mean, our, our people are, are destroyed out here, man, right? Our people comfortable with walking around just being a black man, right? Oh, I'm just a black man. I'm just a nigga, man, right? They comfortable with being nothing, man, right? That's right. That's a damn shame, man. You got the greatest people upon the face of the earth comfortable with being at a lower state, man. Right, read on. Verse 13. Therefore, it has come to pass that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear. The Lord said, What? So they cried, and I would not hear, said the low, the most high of hosts. Right. So the Lord said he won't hear your cries, man. Right? So the next time you walking up the damn street. And the police harass you and they throw you on the uh, damn ground and you talking about Lord save me, hey, the Lord gonna be laughing at you, man. Right? Cause you had your chance to get the words of God, but you wanna you wanna be stiff neck and rebellious, man. Right? That was it on that? Alright, you still got that in uh, Ezekiel? Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 8. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious. Like that rebellious house, right. open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And do what? And eat that I give thee. Right. So everybody talking about, well, why don't you guys feed people? Why don't you guys feed the homeless? And we feeding the homeless right now. Right. The Lord said, eat that I give thee. Right. right? Read on. Come. Verse 9. And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me. Right. And lo, a roll of a book. A what? A roll of a book. Right. And a roll of the book is talking about this Bible, yeah. right? These law, statutes, and commandments, all these prophecies, all these proverbs that was written for our people to have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, yeah. right? Read on. A roll of a book was therein, right. and verse 10, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentation. It was what? Written therein lamentations right. and mornings and, what? and mornings. Right. And whoa, and whoa, and whoa. So the Lord said it was written lamentations, mourning, and woes, man. Right? And that's the things that our people don't like to hear about. Right? Our people want to hear a damn feel good story. Right? right? They want to go to church and, you know, the pastor, he jumping around. They playing the tambourines. They playing the damn piano. They playing the damn banjo. Right? Clapping their hands. Right? But our people don't want to change their lives, man. They want to be wicked. Right, come out here and get drunk. Come out here just like whores, right? And then they want to go to church on Sunday right. and talk about Lord forgive me, right? <laughs> right, that don't make no damn sense, man. Right, that was it on that. Con, that's it. Con, read what you got. Now let me get uh, Ezekiel three and one. On my the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter nine, for, uh, nineteen, verse yeah. twenty. Yeah. The fear of the Lord. The what? The fear of the Lord. Is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law. Is the what? Is the performance of the law? We ain't gotta keep the law. It's the performance of the law. The pastor said we ain't gotta keep the law. It's the performance of the law. The Lord said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the performance of the law. And hey, how y'all doing, family? Y'all got a minute for the words of God? Come on, man. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus, brother? 
Do you love Jesus? It's a yes or no question. See, you don't look. You see that? <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. Right? You see, I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. Right? Read that. And the knowledge of his omnipotence. And he looked like he looked like one of the uh, top church members too. You can tell he be in the first row. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, you can tell he be in the first row too, right? Right. He bring his ties every week. Right. He get a, he get a, he put extra money in the plate for pastor. Right. Read on. The book of Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter twelve, verse four. Give to the godly man. Do what? Give to the godly man. Give to the sin. Give to the godly man. Give to the wicked. Give to the godly man. The scriptures say, give to the godly man. Right. Right. So our people always want to talk about, well, what are you guys doing for the community? Right. What are you guys doing for the young children? And we out here telling our people how to live their lives, man. Right. We out here telling our young men how to be real men, right. right? And how to not be damn effeminate and be homosexuals. Right. We try. We out here telling our our young sisters how to be real women. Right. And not come out here and be damn prostitutes and whores, man. Right. Right. right? We out here for the young generation, right. right? To show them how to live their lives and come back to the Lord, right? We out here doing the things that your that your pastor don't got the heart to do, man. Right. right? Read on. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. And do what? And help not a sinner. We got to get them canned goods. Help not a sinner. We got to get them free turkeys. Help not a sinner. And the Lord said, help not a sinner, man. Right? So if, you, if you're not trying to repent and come back to these commandments, the Lord said, help not a sinner. And y'all sisters love Jesus. Do y'all love Jesus? You see that? And y'all got to repent and put on minus superior, all right? Right? That don't make no damn sense, man. You got our sisters out here with these tight ass pants on, right. looking for attention, right? That don't make no damn sense, man. Read that again. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. And they wonder why they end up 50 years old and, and, and they don't have no husband right. and no kids. Right. Right. And they living at home with their damn pet cat, right? right? <laughs> Watching Netflix, right? Because they don't want to be real women. They want to be uh, city girls and hot girls, right. right? They come out here and wear tight ass pants. Right. When well, they put all that fake ass weave in their hair, right. Right? Right. right? right? So that's why we got to come out here and raise our people back up, man. Right? Read on. Do well unto him that is lonely. That is what? That is lonely. What? But give not to the ungodly. But do what? Give not to the ungodly. So we ain't got to give nothing to the ungodly. The only thing we got for the ungodly is the words of the Lord. That's the only thing we can give you. That's the only thing that's going to change your life, man. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all y'all Greeks, keep, keep it pushing, man. Yeah, you damn Greeks, just keep it pushing, man. You damn I do me as you damn you damn Syrites, man. Read on. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive. Right, right, Salakia, read that part again. Hold back thy bread. Do what? Hold back thy bread. We gotta come out here and give our people free food. Hold back thy bread. We gotta give food to our community. Hold back thy bread. The Lord said, hold back thy bread, right? The Lord said, hold back thy bread, right? Hey, we don't get we don't get government assistance. We don't get the uh, 501c3 like the uh, Christian church, right. right? So the only thing we can come out here and do is give our people the true words of the Lord. Right. right, read on. And give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee. Lest he do what? Lest he overmaster thee. And that's talking about our people that think that they can be wicked and still get rewarded. Right. We're not out here for that. You know how many people come out that's damn drug addicts? Right, they come out here. Well, yeah, I just want, I just want free food. Right, I just want free clothes. Right, that's gonna be, that's gonna put them in a state of mind where they gonna feel comfortable and being in that condition. Right, right? they gonna think they can just be wicked, be drug addicts. Right, and they can still, you know, they can still get rewarded. We not out here for that, man. We out here for our people that really change their lives around. Right. Hey, it make a, it make us sick to our damn stomach when we see our people out here street on the uh, streets homeless, That's right? right? That's right. Bugged out on on drugs, man. Walking around drunk, right? Our women walking around, uh, damn, just like damn whores, man, right? Out here selling their damn body, right? 
Hey, we see her sister. It was a young sister. She was walking around with this old ass Edomite, man. Right? I mean, this damn devil looked like he was like 60, 70 years old. And his sister looked like she was in her, her early 20s. Right? Right? She was a damn escort, man. Right? Right? And that's the that's the new slogan, though. Chasing the bag. I got to chase the bag. Right? Like I said, in that type of state of mind, you can chase the bag as long as you want. But you're going to end up down, down 50 years old with all type of STDs. Right? You're going to be alone. Right? All these damn abortions. You ain't gonna have no husband, no kids. Right? You gonna be living with your damn pet cat. Right? Right? So our people gotta come back and stop this folly and this madness and return to these commandments, man. Right? Read on. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. For the most high hated sinner. God love everybody. No. <laughs> The most high hated sinner. And you hear that, brother? The Lord said he hates sinners. Are you a sinner, brother? Yep. Brother, are you a sinner, brother? No, we're not. Who, what, what scripture is that? What scripture is that? What, what, what scripture is that? You see that? that? You see that? You see that? Brother, come here to word, brother. Come here to word, brother. Where your fridge is at, brother? Why your woman ruling over you, brother? You see that? That don't make no... You see that? All out of order. All out of order, man. You got the woman leading the man right. with a masculine spirit. Right. Right? With that don't make no damn sense, man. With pants on. Right? That don't make no damn sense, man. What's going on? Hey, let me ask you something real quick. Come here real quick. Real quick. Okay, one question. Hold on. Hey, no. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, you see that? You see that? That dude was coming. That dude was coming. Right? <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> hey, Satan knew it was for to happen. <laughs> hey, hey, let me talk to you real quick. Come here real quick. Come here real quick. Alright, alright. All, right, all y'all Jezebel's gonna be destroyed, alright? Alright, read that. For the most high hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. He will do what? Repay vengeance unto the ungodly. What are you gonna do to those pale faced Jezebels? Repay vengeance unto the ungodly. So the Lord said He gonna repay vengeance unto the ungodly, man. These damn devils that knew what was finna was uh, was finna happen. They knew they was finna get that judgment, right? So they had to take flight, man, right? So we are here to destroy these demons in these last days, man, right? The Lord put in our spirit to come out here and battle against these evil spirits in these last days, man, right? This is spiritual warfare, man, right? You have all types of uh, evil, wicked spirits out here to deceive our people. To make them think that this lifestyle is good for them, man. Right? Right? Hey, how y'all brothers doing, man? Hey, let me, hey do y'all love God? Y'all brothers love God? Something like that. Damn. Every day? All right. Well, let me, you, I mean, you can Yeah, you got a minute for the words of God, brother? All praise. Give this brother a hand, man. All praise. All praise. Hey, what's up with your man's man? I, I asked him if he loved God. He said, he said, he said, sometimes. All right, man. Too much of the dumb All right, man. <laughs> All right, that's what's up, man. So let me ask you a question, brother. Uh, if I was to ask you, what's your ethnicity or your race? What's my race? Yeah. Black. Your black. You say your father is an African American, a so-called black man. All right. So look on this sign right here. So on this sign, you will find out your true nationality. Cause we can't be black, right? You know, black is a, a color out of crayon box. This brother jacket is black. Are you the same color as this jacket? So what color is your skin? It's brown, right? So how are we black? What, who gave us the title as being black? Right? So that can't be our true nationality. Right? So on this side, what would be your true nationality? You say you African American? Yeah. All right, so what does that say on that side? Judah, right? So let me get uh, let me get Hebrews 7 and 14, right? So according to the Bible, you believe in the Bible? All right, so according to the Bible, your true uh, race or ethnicity will be an Israelite. You will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You you know who else came from the tribe of Judah? We're going to show you. Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. For it is evident... That our Lord, that our what? That our Lord, that our what? That our Lord, who is our Lord? Jesus Christ, right? So it says it is evident. That means it's crystal clear that our Lord Jesus Christ. Read. 
Spring out of Judah. Spring out of what? Spring out of Judah. Spring out of what? Spring out of Judah. Right, so our Lord Jesus Christ was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, right? So do you know what Jesus looked like? Right, because where that uh, where that sign go? We just had it right here. Look. So have you ever seen this picture before? No. So you never seen this picture? Have you ever uh, been to the church, the Christian church? Yes. Right. So in the Christian church, they put this uh, picture up and they tell you that this is Jesus Christ. Have you ever heard that before? Mm -hmm. All right. So I know when I was going to church, they had this image of my church. They said this was Jesus. But do you think Jesus really looked like this? All right, so we're going to show you what Jesus looked like according to the Bible. Let me get Daniel uh, 10 and 5. Come on, let me get uh, Daniel 10 and 5. Come on, let me get uh, Daniel 10 and 5. What you got, Revelation? All right, read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Right, so this is the revealing of who the world called Jesus Christ. Because like I said, a lot of people have him depicted as this man right here. Right? They say this is Jesus. But we're going to find out what he actually looked like according to the Bible. Right? So read on. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Right, so jump down to verse 14. God. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had on what? A clothing uh, garment down to the foot. We said Jesus Christ, he had on a long garment that went down to his foot, right? Read on. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hair. His what? His head and his hair. Which is the hairs on his head, read on. Were white like wool. Were what? Were white like wool. We said that Jesus Christ had woolly textured hair. So what nation of people have woolly texture here, or they will call it nappy. Who got nappy here? So-called black people, right? Read on. As white as snow, right. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, right. and his feet, and his what? And his feet. So now I was going into his skin color, right? So it says not his feet. Read on. Were like a, like unto fine brass. Like unto what? Like unto fine brass. So what color is brass? Do you know what color is brass? It's almost like a like a penny, like a copper color. Right, a brownish type color, right? So we said that his feet was like you like you said a brownish type color. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. As if what? As if they burned in a furnace. So we said not only was Jesus a brownish type color, but he was so dark it looked like he got burned in the furnace. So when you look at his uh, description, he was a dark-skinned man with woolly hair. So who does that sound like? But I mean, it sound like us, right? Right. So like we said, your true nationality, you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, just like Jesus Christ, right? That's all you got. All right, brother, check out that card. All right, you an Israelite, brother. All right, you gotta repent, keep the commandments. All right, all praise, all praise. Right. Right. So hey. That might be that one brother, man. That might be that, that one uh, soul that, that might get sealed, right? And we might be out here for three or four hours, and we might only get one brother that want to repent and come back to the commandments, right? So the Lord said, many are called, but few is chosen. And let me ask y'all a question. What's y'all ethnicity? Y'all Mexican? Mexico? Hermano, Hermano. Right, let me talk to you real quick. Not familiar, not familiar. Yeah, uno momento. Come here real quick. <laughs> All right, man, y'all Israelites, all right? Y'all the tribe of Issachar. Y'all got to repent, keep the commandments, all right? All right, all right so uh, you had that in Ezekiel. Uh, what was you at? Sirach uh, 12? Or did you finish that? What verse you stopped at? All right, come on. All right, so let me get... Uh, uh, let me get First Maccabees 14 and 30. You had uh, Ezekiel. Come on. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. Unto the who? Unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat. Cause thy what? Cause thy belly to eat. Right? So we have to come out here and give our people this spiritual food, right? Because our people love intermingling with their oppressors, yeah. right? I mean, do that sister, did she got blonde hair in her head? What the hell is, you got, 
I mean, this is, I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. You can't make this stuff up, man. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's ridiculous. What's, what's going on? What's going on, man? Right? You got our beautiful sister walking around. Give me that. Uh, give me uh, Proverbs 3 and 31. Right? Give me Proverbs 3 and 31. Right? And this is why we got to come out here for our people. Right? I mean, this is this is disgusting. I mean, this is pathetic. Right? <laughs> Read that in Proverbs 3 and 31. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. This is the type of stuff that give us high blood pressure, man. Right. right, read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. The Lord said what? Envy thou not the oppressor. The Lord said what? Envy not. <laughs> envy thou not the oppressor. So the Lord said envy thou not the oppressor, man. Right? All people love envy and their oppressor. Walking hand in hand with their damn slave masters. Right? right? You got you got these simple ass Negroes out here with tight ass skinny jeans, man. Right. With blonde hair in their head. Right. Tattoos all on their damn face. Right. Our sisters walk around with blonde hair in their damn head. Walking around with Becky and Susie. Right. Walking around with Mary Kate and Ashley. Right? Yeah. I mean that don't make no damn sense, man. I mean every time you hang it around these see this, your whole spirit and your whole demeanor change. Right. You don't even act the same. You don't even talk the same. Right. She over there like, hey guys, yeah, totally, yeah, yeah, what are we doing tonight, right? They got you saying stuff that you don't even say, right, right, right? You got Jake, he put on his white man voice, yeah, well, yeah, what are we doing tonight, Trevor? Yeah, what's up, buddy, what's up, dude? You're my buddy, my dude, right? These stepping and fetching ass Negroes, man, I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. Yeah, let's talk about it. What is this? Does, what, is, what does that say? What is that? I can't even see it. Come here. Let's talk about it. All right. All right, man. You don't, you don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> Read that again, man. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his way. And do what? And choose none of his ways. Right? And choose none of his ways, man. Right? So our people have to separate themselves from these damn heathens. Right? That's why our people in the damn uh, Christian church. That's why our people in the Roman Catholicism. Right. That's why our people in the damn uh, uh, in damn uh, nation of Islam. Right. right? That's why our people want to be in their uh, Greek fraternities. Because they learn these things from the damn heathens, man. Right? right? Let me get Jeremiah 10 and 1. Right? Let me get Jeremiah 10 and 1, man. Right? I mean, this don't make no sense, man. Hey, let, hey, let me ask y'all a question real quick. Uh, do y'all love God? Do y'all sisters love God? All right, all right, all right, sister. All right, y'all Israelites, all right? Y'all got to repent, keep the commandments, all right? All right. Oh, praises, man. <sighs> Read that, kid. Hey, 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 let me ask y'all a question real quick. Yeah, they don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> verse 1 up. Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Most High speaketh unto you. Oh, house of Israel! Oh, what? Oh, house of Israel! Oh, yeah. Thus said Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. Do what? Learn not the way of the heathen. Now we got to join ourselves with them. Learn not the way of the heathen. Martin Luther King said he had a dream. Learn not the way of the heathen. Right, the Lord said, learn not the way of the heathen, man. Right? Everybody want to be in it. Uh, Martin Luther King had a dream, man, that, that little white girls and little black boys with whole hands. And, I mean, that ain't no damn dream. That's a damn nightmare, man. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> Ever since we integrated with these damn people, it has been destructive to us, man. Right? I mean, our people, they, they want to learn the ways of the heathen, and then they want to take on the customs of these other nations, man. Right. Right? Now you got Jake. He be in a damn college uh, uh, going into these damn Greek fraternities. Right? Talking about, well, yeah, man, they blindfolded me, man. Right? They blindfolded me, man. Then the next thing I know, man, I feel something going up my backside, man. <laughs> all type of weird, disgusting, foul, all type of profane things be going on with our people because they want to they wanna join themselves with these damn heathens. Right, right. right? Matter of fact, give me 2 Maccabees 4 and 15. Yeah, give me 2 Maccabees 4 and 15, man. And that's the, that's the problem with our people, man. Right? They be having you do all type of weird oaths and rituals when you go into these Greek fraternities, right? Even when that brother was uh, going into that Freemasonry, right? 
like the elder said, like the the whole idea of uh, of masonry goes into building. It's nothing wrong with that. But when you get into Freemasons, when Esau got his hands on that, that goes into something completely different, right? Right? Like I said, I, I know some of these uh, these Freemasons, man. Right? You have a set of the Freemasons that's called the uh, the Soldiers of uh, Pythagoras, right? All people don't know that that goes into the worshiping of Greeks, right? That's why the Lord said, "Learn not the ways of the heathen." Right? Read on. Come and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That's it on that. Read what you got in First uh, Second Maccabees. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter four, verse fifteen. No. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. Not doing what? Not setting by the honors of their fathers. So the, the Lord said, our people don't set by the honors of their fathers. That's why we have to come out here and give our people their true uh, heritage. And give them their true history. Right? Our people think their history started when they came off the slave ships. Right? But we have a rich history. Right? All the kings in the Bible was our people. Hey, hey what's going on? What's going on, man? What you, what's going on? You looking at it? Hey, you got? Hey, where, hey, hey, let me ask you for, uh, a question. Where you from? I'm from Belgium. You from Belgium? Oh man, oh man, you from Belgium? He a Belgian waffle, man. All right, man. <laughs> he actually don't need a lot of waffles. Okay, okay, man. So let me ask you a question, man. Yeah. How do y'all treat black people in Belgium? Uh, Yo, equals. All right. So, okay. Right, right. So let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Who is this guy right here? Who would you say that is? You think that's a depiction of Jesus? Okay, okay, you said that's how you would draw Jesus, right? Don't you know? No, no, but like, how would Jesus was white? Okay, so what did he look like? Hold on, so what did he look like? Okay, okay, but what would he be then? Uh, okay, so I'm a I'm asking you, how would he look like? Uh, I think he's Middle Eastern. He's Middle Eastern. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so hold on, so hold on. Let me ask you a question. He's Middle Eastern. You know, Middle Eastern is a whole region. You have different countries in that region. So, what do you mean when you say he's Middle Eastern? What part? What? Okay, what region? Okay, what was his? What was Jesus' ethnicity? Okay, Jeru Okay, what people? What people dwelt in Jerusalem during that time? Oh my God! What people dwelt in Jerusalem during the time of Jesus? The Jews, right? So, okay, so now we getting somewhere. You said Middle Eastern, but that's that's a bold statement. So, so he came from Israel. He came from Jerusalem. I know, that's what I'm saying. So what did the Jews look like? Hold on, don't snatch them away. No, you, you ain't gotta go. No, you don't. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this question, hold on. Right, okay. So so this is the thing. What did the Jews look like? Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Okay, we gonna show you real quick. Hold on, hold on, we gonna show you, hold on. Read that, read that. Get that Jeremiah 14 and 2. All right, man, y'all Belgians, y'all uh, uh, people from Belgium, man, y'all going to captivity, all right? All right, you gonna be making Belgian waffles on the on the cotton field, man. They are Belgian waffles. <laughs> the book of Jeremiah, chapter fourteen, verse two. Bring it out. Jew the morning. The Lord said, "What? Jew the morning, right. and the gates thereof languish. They are black. No, they are pale. They are black. No, they are pale. They are black. They are Middle Eastern. They are black." The Lord said, "The so-called Jews are black." The, the Israelites from the southern kingdom, the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi are dark-skinned people. That's right. Right? So these damn heathens don't know what's going on, man. Right? They said this is the depiction of Jesus. He was Middle Eastern. Right? That don't make no damn sense. What ethnicity and race is Middle Eastern? Right? I mean, that don't, I mean, that don't make no damn sense, man. Right? That's a direct. That's a damn direction. He was Middle Eastern. Right? And that's why these people, that's why the Lord said these people are children of fools, right. children of base men, right? Right, he said, he, I asked him, how do, how do y'all treat uh, uh, so-called black people in Belgium? He said, well, we're equal, right? 
Well, according to the Bible, the Lord said we above all people upon the face of the earth. Right. right? So it ain't no equality up here when it comes to the, the children of the Lord. Right? Right? We're not equal to these damn pale faced bastards, man. Right? We're not equal to all these damn heathens, man. Right? Yeah, you got them right, man. Yo, dirty ass. Matter of fact, you ain't hey, you know you ain't even worthy to go in the cotton field, man. You over there smoking a cigarette, right? You look like that damn monster that was on damn Lord of the Rings, right? You ain't even worthy to be on the cotton field, man. You all out of shape, right? Hey, clean yourself up, man. Right? I mean, he not even he not even he not even, he not even worthy enough to be in the cotton field, man. Right? That don't make no damn sense, man. Right? I need I need I need slaves that spit. Right? I need slaves that's in shape. Right? I can't have no damn no damn eat a mic that smoke a cigarettes all day. Right? That don't make no damn sense, man. Read on in that uh second Maccabees. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter four, verse fifteen. You know, not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecian. Hey, 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 you in a pig. Let me ask you a question real quick, since you got so much energy. Yeah, yeah, she over there blowing. What's the hell she blowing kisses in the camera? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, yeah. we don't want your kisses, man. We not, we not it. Hey, what's your ethnicity? Let me. What's your ethnicity? All right, yeah, you damn dogs. Yeah, we. All right, yeah, we, we not, we not in the bestiality, all right? We not in the bestiality, man. All right, we don't like, we don't want your dogs kisses. All right, we don't. But liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. But doing what? Liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. Right. So our people love the glory of the Grecians, man. Like I said, when you go into the Greek fraternities, right? You go into that Freemasonry, right? That goes into the worshiping of Zeus, the worshiping of uh, Pythagoras, and all the gods of the Greeks. Our people love the glory of the Grecians. Our people love to come out here and act like the so-called white man, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man, right? Our people want to be like these people, and, and, and they the ones that stole our identity. Right. They the ones that stole our land. They the ones that stole our, I stole our language. But our people want to be like our oppressors, right? You got to think about that, right? They they try so hard to be like us, but we want to be like them, right? That don't make no damn sense, man. That's why we got to come out here and uplift our people, right? Right? That's right. Right? It's a blessing to be God chosen people. It's a blessing to be above all these other nations. But our people look down upon that. They say, well, why can't all of us just be equal? Right? Is, 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 is every uh, animal in the animal kingdom e uh, equal? Right? Is, a, is the lions equal to the to the zebras? Right? Are all the birds equal? Are all the insects equal? Are all the sea creatures equal? So why, why do all people have to be equal? That don't make no damn sense. Right? Everything in life has a hierarchy. Right? But when it comes to when it comes to people, our people want to be equal. Right? If you if everybody's equal, who's gonna be the leader? Right. Right? Everything has to be set in order. That's why the most high God set up the order upon the face of the earth. We supposed to be the top nation, man. Let me get uh Deuteronomy uh four and six, right? The so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are supposed to be the top nation, ruling over all these damn heathens. Right. But we want to be like our oppressors. Right. We want to be be like our slave masters, man. Right. Right. Read on. Oh, that was it. The Book of Baruch, chapter. So, no, go back to uh, Second Maccabees four and fifteen. Mm -hmm. Read down. By reason whereof sore calamity came upon them. The Lord said what? Sore calamity came upon them. And that sore calamity is talking about the things that happened to us in this nation, right? Getting shot down by Dylan Roof. Getting shot down by Peyton Gendry, right? George Floyd getting a damn knee on his neck, right? Trayvon Martin getting shot down in the streets, right? Sore calamity came upon our people because we want to be equal to our oppressors, right? We want to follow after the way... Uh, you had a uh, you? I mean, look at that. Look at Satan going against Satan. And your kingdom is divided. All right, your kingdom is divided against itself, so it's gonna fall, man. Right? And hey, you damn devil. And hey, why are you arguing with your own people? 
Right? <laughs> you got Satan casting out Satan. <laughs> Madness, man. Hey, hey, you damn devils, y'all know y'all finished, right? You know you finished, right? Look at him, he can fight. He don't know what's going on, man. He look, he look all confused. Hey, y'all brothers, hey, 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 don't take, don't take no info from that damn devil, man. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, hey, oh, praise, hey, yeah, come here to word, brother. Come here to word, brother. Hey, these damn devils ain't got nothing for you, brother. He trying to deceive you. Yeah, we your brothers, man. He trying to deceive you, man. Right? Hey, hey, get away from your oppression, man. Right? And hey, y'all brothers come over here and get the two words, man. Yeah, leave that, leave that devil alone, man. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't talking about nothing. And hey, he gave you, a, he gave you a flyer, brother. Yeah, throw that shit out, man. Yeah, throw that, throw that shit out, brother. Come get the words of the Lord, brother. Yeah, yeah. See, you got these damn devils trying to deceive our people, man. Right? Yeah, look at these. Yeah, yeah. That don't make no damn sense, man. Hey, what's going on with y'all, man? And what's y'all ethnicity? You Hispanic? You don't know what you are, so you just you just popped up out of nowhere. So what would be your father's nationality? You don't know. All right. So you said that you uh, Hispanic. On what side? On your mom or your dad's side? On your mom with your dad's ethnicity? Dutch. All right. So your dad is Dutch, so he would be a so-called European. Okay. So uh, how do you feel about you know what's going on up here? Do you know what we're doing up here? All right. So do you? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Who is that guy right there? Who would you say that guy is? Just take a wild guess. No, I'm just asking you. Who, who you think that is? Without the horn. You think that's Jesus? All right, so where do you get that understanding from? Who told you that that was Jesus? You said the society? Okay, so is that according to the Bible? Does the Bible describe Jesus as looking like that? Or you said that society standards, right? All right, so we're going to show you something real quick. Let me get Daniel 10 and 5. And let me get, uh, let me get Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 15. All right, we're going to show you something real quick. All right? You're right. Society, right, they portray that as the Lord and Savior. They say that's Jesus Christ. When you go to the Catholic Church, you go to the Christian Church, they go have a, a poster of this man, and they go say that that's Jesus, right? So we gonna see what Jesus looked like according to the Bible. The Book of Daniel, chapter ten, verse five. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of 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 so Daniel was having a vision and he said the description of Jesus Christ, right? Read on. His body also was like the barrel, right. and his face as the appearance of lightning, right. and his eyes as lamps of fire, right. and his arms and his feet is what? His arms and his feet. So now it's finna go into his skin color, right? So we say his arms and his feet, read on. Like in the color, like in what? Like in color, like in what? Like in color. I thought color wasn't in the Bible. Like in color, see his arms and his feet, like in color, read to polished brass. To so what? To polished brass. To polished brass. What color is brass? You don't know. Have you ever seen a penny? Okay, what color is that? Brownish, right? So what's we'll it? His he was like a color to polished brass. So polished brass will be burnt brass. So according to the Bible, Jesus Christ will be a dark-skinned man, right? So this will have to be a lie, right? So do you know who this actually is? This is a man named Caesar Borgia. He was the son of Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome, right? This is a false image of Jesus Christ. This was actually prophesied in the Bible that there would be a false Christ, right? So give me that in uh, Song of Solomon, I mean Wisdom of Solomon, 13 and uh, 15. God, it's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 15. And when he had made a, con and when he had made a convenient room for it, see it in a wall, and made it fast with iron, 
for he provided it for it that it might not fall knowing that it was unable to help itself so like i think i want 14 and 15. Huh. Solomon chapter 14 verse 15 yep. for a father afflicted with untimely mourning so this father afflicted is talking about alexander the sixth of rome right the pope right read on when he hath made an image he hath made what made an image wait what is this made an image what is caesar borgia an image what is this false jesus an image so he hath made an image read on of his child of his what his child like i said this is his child this is uh Caesar Borgir, the child of Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome. Read on. Soon taken away, now honored him. I did what? Now honored him. Wait, what do they do to Caesar Borgir in the uh, Christian church? Now honored him. What do they do to him in the Catholic church? Now honored him. So they honored this man. Right? They put him up as an idol and said, this is Jesus Christ. But we just gave you the true description of Jesus. Read on. As a God. As a what? As a God. What do they call a uh, white Jesus? As a God. They honor this man as a God. Read on. Which was then a dead man. Which was what? Which was then a dead man. This was a man that lived years ago. So he's a dead man. But now they set him up as the Messiah. Read on. And delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. What do they do in the church? And delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices they have ceremonies and sacrifices to this man right here they say this man was born on december 25th and they celebrate christmas they say this man was dead and he resurrected on uh easter right so read on verse 16 thus in process of time an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law and graven images were worshipped what? And graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. What? Verse 17. Whom men could not honor in, pres in presence because they dwelt far off. They took the counterfeit of his visage from far and made an express image of a king. And did what? And made an express image of a king. Right, so that was painted by Leonardo da Vinci, right? Right, let me get first Maccabees 3 and 48. So what you're going to come to find out is that all the so-called biblical figures are so-called black people. Let me get uh, uh, Acts 13 and 1, right? Let me get Acts 13 and 1. So you had a time called the Dark Ages, right? So all the prophets, all the kings in the Bible were originally painted as so-called black people. So you have a book called The Russian Icons. You can look this up, right? So it's a book called The Russian Icons where they have in the catacombs of Russia the original paintings of the biblical figures. And the original paintings of the biblical figures are so-called black people, right? But then you had a time called the Renaissance, which means the, the renewance, the rebirth, right? And during that time, you had the Europeans whitewashing these images and turning them into so-called white people, right? So give me that in 1 Maccabees 3 and 48. The book of 1 Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48. Yep. And laid open the book of the law. And they did what? Laid open the book of the law. So this Bible is the book of the law. Right? Read on. Wherein the heathen. Wherein the what? Wherein the heathen. Wherein the heathen. And these heathens are talking. Right? The Greeks, the Romans. Right? It says the heathens laid open the book of the law. Read on. Had sought to paint the likeness. I did what? Sought to paint the likeness right. of their images. Of what? Of their images. What is Caesar Borgir? Their images. Right, so it says the heathens have painted the likeness of their images. Right? These are the images of the Greeks and the Romans. These are not the true images of Jesus Christ. These are not the true images of the kings, the priests, and the prophets of the Bible. Right? So give me that in uh, Acts 13 and 1. Right? Let me get Acts 11 and 26. Right? So in the Bible, it gives you a clear description of what the prophets and the kings look like. And what they were described as. Right? Read that. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Yep. Now, there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers. Certain what? Certain prophets and teachers. Right, so it says at the church at Antioch, you had certain prophets and teachers. Read on. As Barnabas and Simeon, 
That was called nigger. That was called what? That was called nigger. Wait, what did they call the prophets? Nigger. It was called what? Nigger. Right. So who else in history was called niggers? According, no, according to, according to world history, who who was called niggers? No, I'm saying what group of people had the title as being niggers? So in slavery, what did they call so-called black people? They was called niggers, right? You ever heard of niggers? Right? You heard about that, right? Y'all know about that, right? I mean, that's not... Right, right, yeah, right. So, so-called black people had the title as being called niggers. So, the same priests and the prophets and the teachers in the Bible had that same nickname. And when you go into that word nigger, it literally means black. Because in another translation in the Bible, instead of nigger, it says the black man. Right? So that's letting you know that the so-called prophets were so-called black people. Right? Read that again. God. Acts chapter 13 verse 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger. That was called what? That was called nigger. That was called nigger. You had the prophets called niggers, which means black, dark skin. Right? So these are the original paintings of the prophets. Of the biblical figures Of the angels Right Don't you know even the angels Were so called black people Did you know that You don't know what you're talking about Right man, Look at that Look at Satan man You don't know what he's talking about He don't He don't study Right He don't study to show himself approved Right So let me get that in Acts And let me get all uh, that in Ezekiel 1 and 7 Right 11 and 26 the book of Acts, chapter 11, verse 26. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians. And the what? And the disciples were called Christians. So now you have modern day religions like Christianity, right? And, and Christianity, like I said, they give you this image. And say that this is the Messiah But according to the Bible The Messiah is a so called black man The disciples were so called black men Right So the disciples were the original Christians The Jews were the original Christians We are the only ones That get, that had the title as being followers of Christ Because Christ only came for one nation of people Give me that in uh, uh, Matthew 15 and 24 Give me Matthew 15 and 24 Man, let me get Isaiah 49, 23, man. So, hey, Sam, before you leave, yeah. man, let me ask you one question, man. Do you feel bad for what your people did to our people? I personally feel bad. Yeah. I feel bad for what happened. Okay, you feel bad. So, are you willing to show your forgiveness? Show my forgiveness? Yeah. I don't feel as though I have any forgiveness. So, you so okay with that? But who did this? Your forefathers did it. You said me. No, okay, your forefathers did it, right? So are they here? No, they 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 they, they passed on, right? And they got away with this. Right? So who go somebody gotta pay for that, right? They didn't get away with it. But don't, you know this stuff still happening to this day, right? You ever heard you you know about Peyton Ginger, right? You know you heard about that uh that, that shooter that went into Buffalo and shot up? Did you know about Dylan Roof? You heard about what he did in South Carolina? Well, you need to look this stuff up. This is serious business. He went into a black church and killed nine black people for no reason. You had Peyton Gendron. He went into a black supermarket in Buffalo and he killed ten of our people. I'm asking you, do you care? But you said, I'm, I'm just asking you, you, do you care? Yes or no? Do you care? Do you care? Hold on, no, no, I'm, I'm talking to you right now. I'm talking to you right now. So flip, let's flip it back. Let's flip it back over. Hold on. Hold on. Flip it back over. Let's flip it around. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sam. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. You got to stay focused, Sam. So who go, who, okay, so look. Do you actually feel sorry for this, Sam? Yeah, do you feel sorry for that, Sam? Okay, so let me get, uh, let me get, uh, first Sammy 2 and 3. You hold that in Isaiah. Right, so is is sorry is, is being sorry an action word or is that is, is that an action word? If I say I feel sorry but I don't show it, do that really mean that I'm sorry? 
Okay, so are you? Are you okay. Oh, oh, oh. Say that again. How would you like me to show it? Okay, we gonna show you how we like you to show it. Give me that noise in. I thought you never asked. I thought you never asked. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter forty-nine, verse twenty-three. Yep. And the king. Hold on, hold on. Before we even go into this, right? If we show you, are you actually gonna put forth the actions? All right, well, we're going to find out. We're going to see if you're, if you're a just man or not, Sam. And the kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. What? They shall bow down to thee. What does Sam got to do? Bow down to thee. What does Sam got to do? Bow, bow down to, to thee. See, I feel sorry. Bow down to thee. So Sam, Mr. Sam, Mr. Green Eggs and Ham Sam, are you going to bow down, Sam? Read that again. Damn, that's a damn demon. She got a damn exorcism. Read that. They shall bow down to thee. They shall do what? Bow down to thee. Sam, are you going to bow down, Sam? It's, it's, it's a yes or no question. Are you going to bow down? Bow down to thee. You have to bow down right now. Read that again. He not, he not understand. Is that what you want? They, they... Hold on, Sam. Hold on. Hey, let's hey Sam. Let's make them feel hey, good. Hey, Sam. Out. Hey, Sam. What, do, do you see these? Do you see these posters? Right? Don't you know during slavery we had to bow down to your people? I don't know. You don't know? Well, you need to look up this history. And that's the issue. You don't know. So we trying to tell you. Right? So during slavery, we had to get on our knees and bow down. While your people put their foot up on our backs and drunk a beer. Right? So the so 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 the Lord said you have to do what? Bow down to me. We gonna give you this last chance, Sam. Are you gonna bow down, Sam? You not gonna bow down? Well, I thought you I thought you was a, I thought you was a just man, Sam. They're gonna say if I bow down. Sam, I thought you was a just man, Sam. But actually, they said. Sam, hey Sam, I thought you was a just man, Sam. I thought you was a just man, man. I know I will. We, I know you're not. Give me uh, give me uh, Habakkuk two and two, right? Let me get uh, Psalm fifty eight and three, right? Hey, listen, Sam. If you don't do it now, you got to do it later. Okay. If you don't listen, if you don't do it now, you're gonna have to do it later anyway, man. So listen, you might as well get into practice. If you don't do it now, you're gonna have to do it later anyway. Okay? Because you know, look. Let me say this, right? The Bible is right and it's exact. Okay. You can look, the Pope's over in Vatican City, okay, they know that this Bible is right and exact. The only people that don't know and play games with the Bible is you Europeans over here in America, man. Okay, time is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Time is ticking. They know that. Okay, time is ticking. If you don't do it now, you're going to do it later anyway. Okay, so it's, it's, that, that's a prophecy that's, that's bound and sure to come to pass. Yeah. Right, so like you were saying, like you ain't gotta do it now, but you gonna have to do it later. But we gonna show you something right now, right? Cause you said you starting to find out that you're not a just man, right? But we knew that you 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 was born like that, all right? And y'all sisters need to come over here and hear the words of God, all right? Y'all need to put on modest apparel and get that blonde hair out your head, all right? Repent and come back to the commandments. Yeah, you see that? You see that? All right, all right, Sam. We gonna have to hunt you down and put a chain on your neck, Sam. All right, read that. The wicked, the what? The wicked, Sam. The wicked, read these and have Sam. The wicked are estranged from the world. Are what? Are estranged from the world. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. What did Sam just do? Speaking lies. He just do speaking lies. So they speak lies, man. Right? Like I said, we don't want to hear a damn thing that the so-called white man got to say, man. Right? Right? Like I always say, if you ever want to know if the so-called white man is telling a lie, you will know if his damn mouth is open. If that damn devil mouth is open, he's telling the damn lie, man. Right? right? So that's why the so-called white man, woman, and child can drop dead, man. That's right. right? That's why the servants of the Lord go hunt your ass down, put a chain on your neck, and have your ass in that damn cotton field, Stay man. Ready. Right? Separate. So read that. And brother, you got to get out, brother. Right, you gotta love your own people, brother. Right, stand up for your nation and stop being a damn cool, brother. Right, read that. <laughs> Habakkuk chapter two, verse two. And the Most High answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon table." And do what? And make it plain upon table. So we just made it plain upon tables for that devil, right? 
I mean, you can't break it down no more than that, right? We have the history, we have the scriptures, we got the posters, right? All you see is all the atrocities that the so-called white man did to our people all throughout history, right? And that's how you know the so-called white man is the damn devil. Right. And then you got these cool ass Negroes out here talking about, why are you guys always talking about the white man is the devil, right. right? Why do you guys believe that the white man is the devil? Because he just showed it to you, man. Right. How many damn times do these damn people have to show you that they're wicked as hell, man? Right. How many damn times do these damn pale faced rednecks gotta show you that they the damn devil according to the Bible, man? Right. right? Read that. Come, that he may run that readeth it. Verse two, for the like it. Verse three, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will what? It will surely come. It will what? It will surely come. And it will surely come, man. Like the elder said, he don't want to get on his knees now, but hey, it's gonna happen later, man. Right? That's right. Right. So it was better for him to do it now. Right? Because right. next time he ain't going to have no damn choice. Right. Next time I'm going to have to snatch his ass up by his damn neck and force him to get on the damn ground, man. Right? right? And then he ain't going to have no chance to get back up. Right? right. He going to get on the ground, he going to bow down, and then it's going to be off with his damn head. Right. Read that. Come, it will not tarry. Verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up. His what? His soul, which is lifted up. The Lord said about the so-called white man. His soul, which is lifted up, right. is not upright in him. Is what? Is not upright in him. What the Lord said about these people? Is not upright in him. The Lord said his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, man. Right? So these people was born wicked. These people was born the damn devil. These people was born to be Satan upon the face of the earth. Right? These people don't have not one righteous bone in their damn body, man. No. Right? So that's why these people have to go into captivity. Right? These people put the, the damn animals in captivity. Right. right? So now it's going to be time for these damn animals to go in captivity. Right? right? That's right. So read that. Huh? But the just shall live by his faith. But the what? But the just shall live by his faith. Right. We the just that's living by our faith in these last days, man. We the true servants of the Lord that's going to put in that real work for the Most High God in these last days, man. Right? Right? Why right. well, people want to come out here and be cozy cool fools and sing and dance for these damn devils, man. We don't give a damn about these damn devils, man. We want to destroy these damn devils, man. We want to hunt down these damn devils, man. We want to put a chain on these damn devils, man. Right? What the hell? Right? He finished, man. He don't know what's going on, man. Right? He look like a damn Nazi, man. He don't know what's going on, man. Right? Right? So the so-called white man, woman, and child has to go into captivity in these last days, man. Right? right? Let me get uh, Amos 9-11, right? Let me get Amos 9-11, man. Right? Let me get Isaiah 34, and let me get verse 5, man. Right? Right, so in these last days, the Lord is going to bring judgment upon these damn wicked, filthy, disgusting beasts, man. Right? For all the lies that they perpetrate upon the face of the earth, man. Right? Right? Making our Lord a so-called white man, man. Right? Telling us that we nothing. Telling us that we just niggas and spicks and wetbacks. But we the greatest people upon the face of the earth, man. Right? So read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 5. My sword shall be bathed in heaven. The Lord said, what? For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. So the Lord said his sword going to be bathed in heaven. Right? It shall come down upon Idumia. It shall do what? It shall come down upon Idumia. The Lord going to do to these wicked ass uh, 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 white people. It shall come down upon Idumia. So the Lord said his sword shall be bathed in heaven and it's going to come down upon Idumia, man. So all you damn French, all you damn Dutch, all you damn Russians, all you damn Ukrainians, all you damn Europeans going to get put to death in these last days, man. Right? And the streets going to be filled with the blood of you damn wicked, disgusting, foul, profane beasts, man. Right? Read on. And upon the people of my curse, right. 
to judgment. To what? To judgment. That's the judgment that the Lord put upon the so-called white man, man. Right? So you can hang us from trees. You can burn our people alive. You can feed us to dogs. You can feed us to alligators. But you but you don't want to bow down. That was simple. Right? All you had to do was bow down, man. Right? But that's the pride of the so-called white man. That's why the Lord said the pride of thy heart had deceived him. Right? The pride of his heart had deceived him, man. Right? Right? And that's why the Lord goes send Yahweh Shai and the archangels to come down and destroy this wicked kingdom, man. Right? In the service of the Lord, we can't wait for that day, man. Right? We can't wait for the day where the Lord gives us the spiritual power to hunt down these damn devils and snatch the ass out at the crystal of the rocks, man. Right? And put these wicked damn devils to death, man. Right? So read what you got. God, it's the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 11. Right in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, right. and will close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. Right. So the Most High God is raising up the tabernacle of David, what you see right now. And he, he's raising us up like in the days of old, man. Right? Hey, 40, 50 years ago, you can't come out here on the streets and call the white man the damn devil, right? But now we come out here boldly as lions and tell these damn devils they go into captivity, man, right? Now you can't shake, we don't shake hands with devils, man, all right? So keep it pushing, man, all right? No, ain't no, no death and destruction be upon you. The Lord said there's no peace until the wicked, right? So keep it pushing, man. All right, all right, death and destruction to you. We pray that you drop dead tonight. Read that. Verse 12, that they may possess the remnant. That we may do what? Possess the remnant. That we may do what? Possess the remnant right. of Edom. Of who? Of Edom. Of what? Of Edom. Right. So we going to have to possess the remnant of Edom, man. Right? So that damn devil coming over here talking about, well, can I shake your hand? And the last time we shook hands with you, you killed the Native Americans. Right. And you gave them smallpox. Right. right? You burned down their villages. Right. You raped their women and killed their children. Right. So no, we're not shaking hands with you damn devils, right? 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 Read on. And of all the heathen. And of what? And of all oh, the heathen. Right. So this, not, this judgment not just for the so-called white man. Right. All you heathens going to captivity, man. Right. And you slandered our goops going to captivity. <laughs> right? You dirty, disgusting, dirty, filthy, oh. damn hellmites going to captivity. Right. All you Ethiopians, right. all you Somalians, right? right. Especially right. Harry Potter. Hey, Harry Potter, you going to captivity, all right? <laughs> right? <laughs> all you damn all you damn heathens going to captivity. Right? right? right. You dirty, stinking, filthy, disgusting <laughs> Arabs, right? You real dot here East Indians, right? right? All you heathens gotta go into captivity, man. Right. right? That was it on that. It says, and all the heathen which are called by my name, save Yahweh, that do it this. Right. So that's the most high God that do it this, man. Right? So all these nations have to go into captivity and serve the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Right. Right? And that's just judgment. Let me get uh first, first Maccabees 2 and 10, right? Let me get first Maccabees 2 and 10, man. Right? Because these people think that they, they don't have nothing to do with this. He said, well, I'm Dutch. I don't got nothing to do with that. Right? But you still benefiting off the things that your forefathers did. Right? right? You still get to come out here and enjoy the riches of warfare. Right? Your people conquered our people and you put us in captivity and now you get to come out here and reap the benefits. Right? So death and destruction have to come upon these people. That's why the Lord said the children have to be destroyed for the sins of their father, man. Right? He said prepare slaughter for his children. Right? So we're going to prepare slaughter for the so-called white man and all these other nations that had a part in our captivity. Read that. Con, the book, the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 10. What nation, what, what, what nation what? hath not had part in her kingdom? So the Lord said, what nation have not had part in her kingdom? All these other nations had a part in destroying the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know? And gotten of her spoils. Yeah, what? And have gotten of her spoils. Gotten of her spoils, man. You see what Christopher Columbus did? Stole all our gold. Stole all our diamonds. Stole all our resources. Right? 
So all these nations got a part in our in our spoil, right? Read them. All her ornaments are taken away. Of a free woman, she's become a bond slave. And behold, our sanctuary, what our sanctuary, even our beauty and our glory is laid waste. And the Gentiles and the what? And the Gentiles and the what? And the Gentiles. All these damn I do me. And the Gentiles. This group of pigs. And the Gentiles. All these damn. Right. Look at all these dogs and all these pigs, man. All these filthy, disgusting beasts, man. Right. All these damn Gentiles, man. We have profaned it. I did what? Have profaned it. All these damn Gentiles have profaned our sanctuary, man. I mean, like the Lord said, these are children of fools, man. You got damn dumb and dumber out here, man. Right? All type of madness and folly going on out here in these streets, man. Right? All these people coming out here having a good damn time, thinking it's a damn game. Right? Hey, 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 brother, you got to separate, brother. Right? Right? Our people need to stop mingling with these damn heathens. Right? Our people love being cool to coming out here and being with these damn white people, man. I don't understand this, man. Right? Yeah, we said that you damn dogs go get go get hunted down and we gonna put a chain on your neck, all right? All right. So no, no, don't don't get don't get too fired up, Becky. Your time is coming, all right? <laughs> so read read what you got. All right. So let me. All right. So let me get uh let me get Hosea fourteen and one. What's going on, brother? All right, so let me ask you a question. Yeah, let me ask you a question. What's your ethnicity? Your race. What is your race? You Moorish. So you, so your race is Moorish. Is that your race or is that your beliefs? If you filled out a job application, what would you put on the application? You would put other. So you don't have a race, you don't have an ethnicity, you don't have a bloodline? What does Moor mean? Who were the Moors? Don't you know the Moors were so-called black people? Right. Right? So what would be your true ethnicity? What would be your true identity? What land goes back to Moorish? Is there a land called the land of Moor? So, what, so how is that a true nationality? Is there a language called the language of Moor? Do you have a Moorish language? It ain't about what I said. We're going to go into the Bible and show you what God said your nationality is. Let me get uh, Deuteronomy 101. Let me get Deuteronomy 101. Right, so we're going to show you real quick. Amen. Amen nothing. Hey, the Lord going to destroy you. All right, you going to captivity, all right? Right, you talking about some amen. That don't make sense, man. Right, <laughs> that's what she is <laughs> Right, so let me get Deuteronomy 101 The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1 These be the words which Moses spake up We don't do assalamu alaikum, brother, all right? We, we Israelites, all right, brother? You gotta repent, keep the commandments, brother All right, look, look, he took place <laughs> <laughs> You can't make this stuff <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> You can't. Our people are so rebellious, man. It don't make no damn sense, man. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. Let me get, man. Let, let me get Jose fourteen and one, man. I, I'm finna, I'm finna close it up, man. These people is ridiculous out here, man. Let me get Jose. You, you stay there in Matthew four and seventeen. Let me get Jose fourteen and one, man. Nah, the book of Hosea. Chapter 14, verse 1. Yep. O Israel. O who? O Israel. O who? O Israel. So the Lord said, O Israel, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on. Return unto Yahweh thy power. Now be a more. Return unto Yahweh thy power. Assalamu alaikum. Return unto Yahweh thy power. The Lord said, It's time to return back to your true identity. It's time to return back to your true heritage, your true nationality. And stop taking part in all this folly and this madness, man. Right? right? Talking about some damn Asalaamu Alaikum, man. That don't make no damn sense, man. Our people love to get involved in all these damn religions, right? Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Nothing. Like I said, you're going to captivity, all right? You're going to cotton field, all right? Right? Read that again. Oh, 
Israel, return unto Yahweh thy power. Our people have to return back to our, our God, man, right? Our people are confused out here. They don't know what's going on. They don't know their true heritage. They don't know their language. They want to be Moors, right? Like I said, what, what land is associated with Moors? What language is associated with being a Moor, right? What heritage is, is associated with being a Moor, right? You're not going to learn how to get out of this captivity by becoming a Moor. You're not going to learn how to get out of this captivity by believing in the Quran, right? In order to get out of this captivity, you have to come back and keep God's commandments. It's real simple. Right? That's why the Lord said, Come ye in at the straight gate. He, he said, Broad is the gate that leadeth to destruction. Right. We have to we have to walk on a straight and narrow path. We don't have time to be getting involved in all these different religions and philosophies. Right? Read on. It says, For thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. And our people have fallen by our iniquity, man. Now our people are confused and they don't know what's going on. Our people want to be homosexuals. They want to be uh, Muslims, right? They want to be Moors. They want to be a part of LGBTQ. They want to be involved in everything under the sun, but but they true nationality and they true heritage, right? All right, bring that up. You gotta come. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty-two. Just go home, Becky. All right. You 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 finished, Becky. You drunk. Just go home. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? That's just damn simplicity, man, right? Being a moor is not going to stop the so-called police from shooting you down in the damn street, right? Being a moor and being a Muslim is not going to get our people out of the ghettos of the projects, right? You have to come back and return back to the Most High God, you know? And these scorners delight in their scorning. Man, you need to put some damn clothes on, man. That, I mean, that is good. That's just, that's, yeah, that's just, oh, good gracious, man. That's, oh, my goodness, man. Nigga, Matt, Matt, you going to make me th damn throw up tonight, all right? You going to make me throw up tonight, man. Put some damn clothes on, all right? Disgusting, man. Hey, 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 put some damn, cover up that pink flesh, man. We don't want to see that. You look like a raw chicken running around. <laughs> and fools hate knowledge. And what? And fools hate knowledge. Our people are fools because they hate knowledge, man. Right? Read on. Him to go to 23. Listen on that. Come on, we gonna close it up, man. Yeah, yeah. Got beef with some butthead, man. <laughs> Read that. <laughs> the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it up. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent. Do what? Repent. Repent. Do what? Repent. Repent. Right. For the kingdom. For the what? For the kingdom. For the what? For the kingdom. Of heaven is at hand. Is that what? Is that hand? Is that what? So like we tell you week in and week out, the kingdom of heaven is at hand for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you didn't know, you living in the last days, and if you want to escape the death, destruction, the famine, and the pestilence that's coming to the earth, you got to come back to the Lord, you got to repent, and you got to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, man. But with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, and Shalom. Shalom. Put that shot up! Put that shot up! Put that shot up! Put that shot up! Put that shot up!